Hello, welcome to lesson 71, C-Sharp Preprocessor Directives brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is preprocessor directives in C-Sharp. Right now, let us understand it. The preprocessor directives give instruction to the compiler to preprocess the information before actual compilation starts. Okay, that's what the preprocessor directive is. It uh, tells the compiler to preprocess the information. Okay, before the execution of the program or the actual compilation starts. Okay, that's what the preprocessor directive is. And what all the preprocessor directives should begin with or should start with the hash symbol and only a white space characters may appear before a preprocessor directives on the line okay and the other important point you have to remember is preprocessor directives are not statements so they do not end with a semicolon and we are going to learn all these things when we code in visual studio right now let me show you a list of preprocessor directives available in c sharp <coughs> okay uh, the list of preprocessor directives available in C sharp are define, undefined, if, else, elif, and end if, and the region and end region. These preprocessor directives have their own usage. For example, define and undefined are used to uh, define and undefine a symbol. Okay, what is symbol? Symbol is a sequence of characters. That's it. And we can find the four. Um, Directives, preprocessor directives, if, else, elif, and end if. Why they are used? They are used to use for uh, used to check the logic. In the sense, uh, you can observe here use logic. They use the logic to see if a symbol is defined or not. For example, if I define a symbol to check whether that symbol is defined in my program or not, we use these con these preprocessor directives. Okay. Um, Okay, in, in simple words to tell, these four are used for logical checking. That's it. Uh, and at the last, you can find the two preprocessor directives. They are region and end region, and they are used for documentation of a code. For a document pur purpose of of code, we'll use this end region and end region. Right now, uh, let us jump into Visual Studio. Let us examine all of them. Okay. For example. This is a console application. If I want to define a preprocessor directive or if I want to define a symbol, then what is the preprocessor directive we have to we have to do that work? If I want to define a symbol, then I have to use the define preprocessor directive. Okay, let me jump back to presentation and let me define your okay. Define uh, let me the symbol name is debug mode. Okay, and here you can observe I'm getting a red squiggle telling light cannot define or undefined preprocessor symbols after first token in a line. In the sense, whenever you are going to define a preprocessor directive, you should define at the starting of your program. So it is throwing error. Okay. Now let me define it here. Here it does not throw any red squiggly. You can observe there. Okay. It means that if you are going to define any symbol in your program, then you have to define that preprocessor directive at the starting itself, starting the starting point of your program itself. Okay. Now I have defined a symbol called debug mode. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether I've defined a symbol called debug mode uh, using the preprocessor directive define. How to check that? To do that work, we have other set of preprocessor directives. They are if, else if, elif, and end if. They are used to check uh, or write the logic to check whether a symbol is defined using the preprocessor directive define. How to do that? It's very simple. Let me come to my main program and let me write something like ash if. It's a preprocessor directive to check whether the symbol is defined or not. Okay, which is the symbol? The symbol is debug mode. Okay, if this debug mode is done, I have to tell the compiler or my program to do set of work. What is the what is what it, it has to do? Define. It has to do. Okay, it's a debug mode. Let me erase this part again. And if this debug mode symbol is defined, I'm telling my console application what to do. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. Debug mode. Then I'm telling like console dot uh, console dot write line write debug symbol is defined. Okay. And if this debug mode symbol is not defined, then I would use some other directive to tell that. To tell that. Okay, uh, that is else. Okay, else console dot write line. 
what I have to write it here telling like let me copy this and paste debug symbol is not defined and let me end this to end we have something called hash and if okay now you can observe this part is highlighted telling like with a blue with the since the class console is a class it's it's highlighting with the blue color and the right line is in black color and but you can observe here this part is not uh, in any color it's like grayed okay why this happens for example if i write something here it's the compiler is going to omit it okay and that's happening why because because here i am checking if the debug mode is present print this do this do this part of work else don't check the next part okay that's what we are telling here and for example if i wantedly remove this b okay you can observe here this part gets highlighted the, in a sense the else part gets highlighted and here now i can write whatever i want okay the compiler is going to omit that part now to be perfect for the first time let me make it debug mode and this part gets highlighted now let me run this program okay it prints the builder standard you can observe it prints debug debug symbol is defined and that's what that's what the usage of these preprocessor directives if else and end if okay now uh, let me jump back to presentation here we have the other set of preprocessor directives they are region and in region let us see what is the purpose of using these preprocessor directives they are used for documentation of a code uh, in the sense let me jump back to visual studio let me show the usage of it for example uh, this is a main function main method and this is a part of a program in the sense it's a region if you tell it in a preprocessor directive language it means this main function is a region okay and as this is a class program program can contain multiple methods okay here we have only one method that is main method similarly it can contain multiple methods and each method uh, we can treat it as a region okay let me initialize that region and i started the region here and where i have to end that where i have to end this region at the where this method is going to end at that point i have to place it okay as end region you can observe here okay what is the advantage of using this region and end region is used for documentation of code okay uh, now as i said earlier in this piece of uh, in this class we can have multiple methods okay uh, just to uh, cross verify uh, in a very soon manner or immediately if i want to see what is what is what is what is the method present in this region or this region okay i can specify uh, telling like this region is this is main function region okay okay now when i minimize this you can observe the telling like this is main function region similarly what i'll do is uh, let me come here let me create one method public static void demo demos okay let me define one region here to this method and let me end the region soon after the method close and let me tell this this is demos method region okay now let me minimize this okay and let me minimize this also see see how beautiful it is it is explaining you it is telling you clearly in this piece of class program we have two functions one is main function and one is the demos method region okay this is how this is the beauty of this preprocessor directive region and end region it explains you like this part of region is present here and this part of region is present here in the sense main function is in this block and the demos method region is in this block okay whenever whenever you over on this it is showing you the uh, the code inside that function similarly you can observe here okay this is what the beauty of the preprocessor directives and finally to give to tell you preprocessor directives it's give the instruction to the compiler to preprocess the information before the compilation starts okay that's what the necessity of preprocessor directives in c sharp but when you compare to other languages like c c++ uh, preprocessor directives are used for con constants there but here uh, to declare the constants there but here 
preprocessor directories are used for some other purpose okay that's the beauty of c sharp uh, and that's the beauty of preprocessor directives in c sharp okay finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to your youtube channel ankpro training and also don't forget to give the feedback thank you